Hello traders, this is Orlando for Tradimo and uh, today I'm going to do a short video uh, on trailing stops because on our um, on our Slack Premium community or our Premium or Tradimo Premium Club, uh, Premium user Dab asked me about this trade that he was on on gold, right? And how or what was the best way to trail your stops? And uh, I have a few things about trailing stops because I really think that most traders trail their stops way way uh, too tight and uh, what happens when you trail your stops too tight uh, is that you're going to get stopped out on a retracement not on a reversal so uh, let's go and see uh, here an actual chart on the on uh, gold and let's grab a clean chart all right here we go so let's go to the hourly chart and uh, let's see where we are uh, right now uh, so basically, uh, DAB took the trade right here at the, at the 1293 level. So let's do uh, grab an, a horizontal line to see where he actually uh, took the trade. Horizontal line right here, uh, 1293 level. Let's modify this. The coordinate should be 1293. All right, so here's where he entered the trade. And let me tell you, that was a, an awesome entry. Uh, I've been tra trying to, uh, I was trying to trade the long side on gold but um it broke with uh well it invalidated my idea but uh, i see that that did take the trade and uh well now he's up quite a bit right so basically um his stops are at the uh, 1303 level right so let's grab a uh, horizontal ray at the 1303 level all right and uh yeah that's that's looks about right let's zoom in and let's think about this a little bit right uh we are in a very clean up structure right now in gold which means that i mean you can draw a, a, a channel right here as you can see a, a an up channel or a bullish channel and you can see that the price action is is very clean and after we took, after he took the trade, we made a um, um, a higher low. Then again, here a higher low, right? Then again, here a higher low, which is where he has trailed his stops, and we have made a higher low right here. Now, um, in my opinion, if you trail your stops right here to the 1305 level i mean it should be fine because um, if we break with uh, the previous low we would be breaking also with this up structure which means that i mean you will be looking maybe at, so, at this kind of price of action uh something like this right all right let me just uh repaint the uh, ghost uh, candles all right so basically this is what you will be looking at i don't know why uh i my candles are not being painted um well i'm going to do it with uh, another another tool all right uh this is basically what you will be you will be looking at but the thing is that in my opinion moving your stops uh to this level I mean, it would protect uh, two dollars worth of profit, right, in price. But um, a break of this low by no means uh, means that uh, we are done with the up move, and that uh, um, well, we should uh, be um, shorting uh, gold, right? Be why? Because uh, uh, let's grab a Fibonacci retracement level all right so uh, let's go to the um uh to the inputs and uh, let's grab the 50 and the 618 right so the 50 and 618 are right about at uh the previous highest level so this is a previous base right so i'm going to just uh move that uh, or grab the uh, horizontal line tool and as you can see this uh this uh, base or these highs right here are right uh, at the uh, 1300 level, or at, the, at, the, at the 1300 level. So basically what can happen is that we can get 
I move to the downside and then a continuation to the upside. All right. This would mean that you would have gotten stopped out too early on the trade. And this is why I do not, uh, I mean, I do not like to trade, uh, trail my stops too tight. What I do basically is that I take a card calculated target. In this case, let's grab the uh, 161.8 retracement, right? Okay. And I would have gotten half of my position off here. And I would have moved my stops to this very low right here. Why? Because I would expect a, a retracement to the 50 to the 50 uh, Fibonacci retracement, which is also a um, uh, a previous resistance. And for a I mean for a continuation up, because if you look at, at the larger picture, right? The larger picture shows us that we are making a higher high. We are making a higher low and maybe right here we made the, the higher high and we are expecting to make a, a higher low right here. So basically you would be you, you would be only trading the first leg of the move up and you would be missing out on the rest of the trade. Of course that this is just uh, I mean, I'm not I'm not telling you that this is going to happen. This is just uh, uh, what might happen right um and uh, the reason of why i don't like to trail my stops too tight but uh if you are not comfortable with uh, the big swings within a trade i think that that uh right here where you have your stops is just fine 